first of all, we'll talk about the loss. What did you take out of that? Plenty. I think Adelaide sent, sent the benchmark for the competition since season one. So uh, for us as an expansion team, it's just another opportunity to keep learning. Um, is it to, is an indication of where you guys are at or Adelaide that good? I think we're better than not scoring a goal against the Crows. Um, they were able to implement their game style better than we were on the night. Um, they, were, they played some really good footy and they have been playing some really good footy for us. It's seeking consistency through, um, well, we're probably just past halfway of the season now. So, um, yeah, really good, strong learning from what is the benchmark of the competition. Um, what about the occasion itself? must have been yeah. a really special big part. Yeah, it's really cool, I think, um, to have more than 20,000 South Australians. I actually did some media with a Victorian-based journo today and blown they're blown away by the support of football and, you know, women's footy in South Australia. And I think it's just, for me, it's, it's a, I'm so grateful to the people that turned out, whether whichever club you support and whether you just support women's sport, I think it's just a significant moment for, for not just both clubs, but for women's sport in SA. And to be a part of that, while we're disappointed with the result, to be part of that is something pretty special. And I know our playing group certainly treasure that. And Juliet Haslam and Rachel Spawn, who've led the way in women's sport and been a really big part of that in SA, I think it's a really special moment for them as well. Um, and I feel like we didn't say that it's only going to build from here. I think so, yeah. And I think while, again, the result um, wasn't what we went after, um, I think you look forward again. <laughs> well, I've had a number of players already talk to me about the next showdown this week. Um, you know, we'll keep getting better. I'm sure the Crows will also keep getting better. And, yeah, I imagine you'd like to think there's even more at next season's showdown. So move on to this week. Yeah. And I suppose the key areas that you focused on. Yeah, well, obviously um, we're coming up against another expansion team. And so... While we got uh, a number of strong lessons from a benchmark team in the comp last week, we actually get to play a, a team who's on a similar level to us and having come into this, to this, the competition this season. So I think it's, for me it's continuing to implement all the things that we're trying. Um, consistency of performance in what's a really young group is a focus for us and, and it's not just around performance on the weekend, it's actually how you apply yourself throughout the week and that's a big part of our learning this year. We've got... 16 out of 30 of our players are first year AFLW players and so a big part of my role and, and our coaching group and our staff is teaching our young group how to be elite athletes and how to perform consistently at training and at games so um, I'm looking for some consistency and, um, and more development from a team perspective in how we want to play footy. So you guys won't be judged by some of these top teams given you are like I said expansion team with so much oh, I think youth and uh, inexperience. I think you can be judged on every result that you have and for us it's you just take as much as you possibly can out of each game and again while the scoreboard wasn't I don't think the scoreboard completely reflects where we're at as a footy club for last week um, the learnings that we take is what's most valuable so this expansion club how important is it to get a result against Hawthorne, against Hawthorne. Yeah, look, I, honestly, the measure for me is if we play our game style and we, we create our own results, if we, you know, we, we like to think of ourselves as a contested team, um, I'm slightly disappointed we're not the number one tackling team in the comp anymore. <laughs> we're still right up there. And um, so I think if we bring our brand of footy and, um, and apply that, we create our own result. Um, I think, you know, one thing I do hear from a lot of public that watched the game last weekend was, or Friday night, was they saw Port Adelaide brand, despite the scoreboard, they did see hard contested footy for four quarters and I think that's something we continue to pride ourselves on. Um, is there any team news you can share, any debutons, etc.? Uh, oh, you're going to have to wait for the team announcement, sorry Hazy. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Um, finally, before to go, Steve Price had some comments during the week. Um, Doc Clark was asked this not too long ago as well, just about <laughs> where he said scathing response about where he thinks the AFLW is at from a spectral point of view and everything else. You, you know it better than anyone. Um, can you give us a comment on that, where you think the competition is at, firstly? I will say I'm interested in providing oxygen to worthwhile conversations.